So hey you two, this is Ivy, and today I'm coming down here to give you guys my final review of my Lola's Hair Exotic Wave. So you guys can see, I did flat iron my hair. When it's straight, it just has this really beautiful luster to it, and it just looks so, so natural. It matches my own natural hair really, really well. Now with this hair, with tangling and shedding, it's still very minimal, but I noticed that this hair does get a little bit dry. So you will probably have to co-wash your hair, I would say at least twice a week, maybe even three times a week. And I did switch up my conditioner. I started using my Icy Moist 3 Minute Miracle. Looks like this. And I got this from Target and what I do is wet down the hair and I put this on there and I let it sit on for actually 30 minutes. But if I'm in a rush, I will actually do like 10 minutes. But that conditioner just adds a lot of moisture back into the hair. It keeps the hair from snagging as much because the hair doesn't tangle but I do get like some snags. The hair likes to kind of clump up together at the very ends. Although it's not a problem, I do notice that it is from a little bit of dryness. You can also apply some serum to the hair to keep it from um, doing that as well. As far as shedding, the hair does still have minimal shedding. Usually when I comb it, I get a few strands. You guys probably can't see that. But right now, I'm not receiving any strands. It's not, you know, excessive shedding. The hair isn't all over the floor and all that type of stuff. This hair, you guys, straightens out really easily. It curls super, super easy also. This hair, I would recommend to someone who wants really good quality hair at a decent price. Lola's hair, all of their hair textures are super affordable. I do have in four bundles. I have in two 24s, a 22 and a 20, a half of a 20. So I got in, so I actually have in three and a half bundles. But if you guys want your hair to be as full as mine at this length, you will most likely need you will most likely need four bundles. Um, if you go anything under like 20 or 22, I think you can get away with three bundles because their bundles are actually nice and full and their wefts aren't overly thick, but they're thick to the point to where um, you don't need a whole bunch of hair. Now, as far as luster, the luster on this hair is a medium to kind of a medium yeah a medium luster as this hair is not this this glossy and also the lights I'm probably picking it up making it look a lot more shiny but it matches my natural texture really well that's mine it just matches really really good I don't have a problem with blending um nobody will have a problem with blending you guys you have to remember when you're doing weaves or whatever the smallest amount of leave out will give you more of a seamless blend my leave out section is probably about that big i don't have this much hair out when you have that much hair out it's a lot harder to blend your hair into the extensions because you guys my hair blends with so many different textures and I have a lot of clients and all of their hair blends also. So it's also, it's kind of about technique and how your hair is installed and all of that jazz. But um, my hair is installed on a U-part wig. And I do have the leave out right here. And I just sold uh, my U-part wig down. And if anyone is interested in U-parts or appointments or anything like that, Please check the bottom bar. I will have all information about this stuff down there. You guys always, always check my bottom bar. The bottom bar will have so much information to all of your lovely questions. As far as maintenance goes, the hair is not high maintenance. However, you do need to condition, co-wash, and wash your hair at least, at least twice a week. And that's with any version hair. You don't want to get hair and just have it in for, um week after week after week and you don't wash it because the hair will get really nasty and stiff and it won't look as you know beautiful and glossy so please remember to wash and co-wash your extensions also i really love that this hair smells awesome um some of the hairs that have cheaper prices the hair can stink really bad but this hair smells really really good you guys and i love it um only thing with the hair you do have to find products that work I recommend the Ozzy brand products and also the Suave Keratin. I like to use this when the hair is feeling kind of dry. 
So um, you don't need super high end products for your hair to behave and act right. And also, I noticed when my hair is time for it to be washed or co-washed, the hair will start getting like stale and stiff. So I'm like, oh, okay, it's time for me to wash it. It'll look like greasy and stiff and stank. And I'm like, oh, okay, it's, it's definitely time to wash my hair. So that's another thing you can look for if your sleeve is starting to like act funny and not curl and not flat iron. It's time to wash it. If someone was interested, my lipstick is the OCC uh, Lip Tar. I forgot the number or the name of this. I will annotate it right there. But um, I got this from Sephora about a year ago. And I noticed that these things uh, start turning into like gloss and then color at the bottom. So I don't know. I guess they go bad really fast. But I'm not overly, overly crazy about it, uh, about their formula. But I really love the color. My dress is from ASOS. It's a, um, a turtleneck swing dress. And I got this uh, during their Black Friday sale also. It's really, really cute. It has like a, what is this, the scarf print? Is that what this called? The scarf type of print? Whatever. And you guys know I'm always wearing black. Thanks for watching, guys. It's a really quick review. Please don't forget to thumb me up if you like this video. Leave me some comments below, you know, with some feedback and all of that good stuff. And talk to everybody later.